Ashlyn, when did you get a sense that things were changing? Well, I have been paying attention to the school board for the past year, and I have been increasingly more concerned about what's been going on. And when I heard about the first teacher sick outs, I realized that more students were interested in being involved and standing up for their education. So I took the incentive and just started educating people. I wanted to let them know what was going on. So I started presenting unbiased information, posting on Facebook and talking to people in the hallways. And before we knew it, we had a huge following. John Ford, explain exactly what is going on. Well, over the last 10 months, um, we had a school board majority that was elected into office. They were a conservative group that started to push a conservative agenda. And last week, two weeks ago, when this uh, proposal came out to create a community a committee to to censor certain parts of our curriculum, I think that's what hit the nerve. And it not only hit a nerve with the, the educators in Jefferson County, but it really hit a nerve with our students, our parents, and uh, community folks as a whole. And this uh, Julie Williams, who's leading the charge uh, on this issue in the school board, uh, to your knowledge, what's her, um, what are her credentials for being able to uh, uh, analyze and dissect the problems of the uh, American history AP curriculum? Well, as far as I know, none. Yep. She released a statement saying that she does not have the authority herself and the background in history to make those judgments, which is why she was creating the committee. But she also never released any statements that the people on the committee would have those qualifications. Speaking on MSNBC, <clears throat> Jefferson County School Board member Julie Williams defended her proposed changes to the curriculum. I'm not saying let's not teach history accurately. What I'm saying is let's not encourage our children to disobey the law. Can you respond to that, Ashlyn Marr? Um, I am not aware that I broke any laws. I think that I was standing up for what I believe in, and that is what, you know, we, people in America have done for centuries. It's the foundation of our country. I took AP U.S. history myself, and all I was presented with were the facts. And then I made the opinions based on those facts. I was never told what to think. And these protests are entirely student-led, and it's what people think is right. Uh, and uh, John Ford, while the students are involved in their protests, the teachers also have uh, particular grievances uh, in terms of uh, policies of the school board. Could you talk about uh, the uh, concerns of the, that led to the sick outs of the teachers? Well, once again, I think it's a culmination of things. We have a board majority that consistently over the last 10 months have they've been secretive, wasteful with taxpayer money and uh, disrespectful to our community. So we put all of those things together and then you put in this, um, this new committee to sanitize or purify curriculum. Um, I think that's where the nerve was hit again and we're concerned about the AP or the College Board is a nationally recognized um, institution that goes throughout all the, you know, the United States in several different countries, and this one hurts kids. So, you know, the teacher walkouts and the student protests and the parent concerns are all stemming from multiple issues. Last week on Fox News, host Gretchen Carlson criticized students and teachers in Colorado protesting proposed changes to their history curriculum. And what does it say about our young people in this country and the teachers joining the protest that promoting patriotism is now a negative? Ironically, the new curriculum being proposed is all about promoting individual rights, like protesting. The new curriculum would also teach a free market system, like the one we already have. It would also encourage that there be no disregard for the law. Isn't that why we have laws on the books? I saw this interview, and further in the interview, she calls all of us little punks. And personally, I do not agree with what she's saying. I am saying that we are standing up for our individual rights, and we want to make sure that we learn the facts, patriotic or not. Everyone's made mistakes, and we learn history, and we learn those mistakes as to not make them again in the future. 
you know, those who don't learn history are doomed to repeat it. So that is what we are saying. The frustrating part of this is we have professionals in classrooms who dedicate their entire lives to teaching kids. And those professionals know better. And I, I want to make this point because I had a conversation with a, a math teacher a couple of months ago, and she was distraught. And I asked her, you know, what's going on? And she said, well, this board majority is using my passion against me. And I wake up every day with that um, ringing in my ears. If there's outside forces trying to push an agenda in our school district, that'd be really concerning. And you know what? We'll find out.